I know I'm drinking a great white Bordeaux when I have minerality, fruit, and herbaceousness all in harmony together. It's not one of those aspects more than the other. It's not Loire Sauvignon Blanc, which is generally more minerally and herbaceous. It's not New Zealand or California Sauvignon Blanc, which tends to be more on the fruit side. It's got a vibrancy uh, of fruit, uh, both orchard fruit and stone fruit notes, which make it really uh, intriguing. It's got a minerality that's bracing, but that bracing edge doesn't make it austere or overly lean. It marries with the fruit. And then it's also got some herb notes too, which keep it very much in the Sauvignon Blanc camp. And when you put all those three together, the fruit, the minerality, the herbaceousness, it's a very distinctive wine. Pesac Lignon is south of the town of Bordeaux. It's a slightly warmer area with gravelly soils. And the white wines have both a richness from that warmth, but also a minerality from those soils. What I enjoy most about this wine is you can drink it by itself. You can drink it uh, with appetizers, or you can even build a meal around it. It's refreshing on its own. It goes with uh, something like a goat cheese crostini if you're just sitting around on the, on the back deck. Or if you want to do something a little more substantial, like a chicken or a rich fish dish and a cream sauce, it's a perfect accompaniment. White Bordeaux has made our top 100 in the past, but this is our first time having a White Bordeaux in the top 10. So congratulations to owners Florence and Daniel Catchard and winemaker Fabian Teichen on their 2013 Pessac Leonion White from Smith Haute Lafitte. <laughs>